In this video, I'll show you your learning options, assuming that you would like to learn the creativity method known as Invention Algorithm, also called TRIS. The TRIS method is known as the main technique to dramatically increase creativity in companies and is the main technique used to develop breakthrough solutions in the defense industry. What is Invention Algorithm TRIS? This is the source of the 40 principles of creativity, which contain generalized knowledge of creativity accumulated over centuries of the Western civilization. Tris is in use in companies such as Honeywell, Boeing, Ford, General Motors, generally defense contractors and companies which are ahead in the leading edge of technologies. Uh, one remarkable company which achieved a lot of success due to the introduction of TRIS is the South Korean company named Samsung. The main concepts in TRIS are contradiction, that is restrictive interdependence of parameters, the ideal final solution where inventor suspends judgment and describes problem as already solved without providing the solution, the magnitude of change at uh, the level 2, the contradiction is resolved, and the generalization of principles, where the principles are looked as just an indication, a hint, leading into the creative solution. The evolution of inventions is a very useful concept in TRIS, and it leads the inventors in the right direction. For example, complexity tends to increase. Up to self-control functions, again, go into more and more functions and end up with self-control. Mobility from mechanical to using force field. Physical state from solid fluid to force field. Composition becomes more and more dynamic. Shape becomes more and more dynamic. And actions are dynamically controlled and going towards the force field in advanced inventions. The general tr trend is that uh, the super systems are formed from subsystems and in some inventions the transition proceeds from macro to micro and nanoscales. Essentially you have three options for learning the invention algorithm. You can take a course, you can study the invention algorithm from books or you can proceed with the workbook and with the simple tools presented in the workbook you can start immediately working on solving of your inventive problem. Those simple tools are actually very powerful. This table presents the main characteristics of your learning options. First, the courses. The main problem with the courses is that they present the TRIS method as a complex method. This is what some participants told me. The TRIS method is a very complex method. At this point I have to disagree with most of the TRIS instructors. In my view the TRIS method is very simple if bells and whistles are omitted. Those bells and whistles are omitted with the workbook approach if a workbook is based on the core principles of TRIS. Second, self-study. Self-study can be quite lengthy and at the end you'll still have to create something like a workbook on your own because after reading a book or two you still need a procedure to follow. The third, a workbook. In my opinion, a workbook is an ideal solution for a beginner. The workbook introduces the basic concepts and the procedure is learning by solving, step by step, your own inventive task. The advantages of a workbook approach to the invention algorithm. A brief workbook is sufficient for a beginner to solve practical projects. The workbook is also valuable for an experienced TRIS user as a quick checklist. The self-training advantage. The beginner learns the trans principle while looking for a creative solution for his or her own project. 
And the third advantage is that the software is not required. Most TRIS users are finding that software is providing rigidity and limitations to the creative solving of problems. Paper and pencil are still irreplaceable. The invention algorithm is essentially an accumulation of centuries of knowledge. Proverbial sayings represent the wisdom of common people accumulated from the times of peasants, craftsmen and noblemen. These sayings were orally passed between generations. It is interesting to notice that the proverbial sayings are very similar and often identical with the 40 principles of creativity, which are the core value of the invention algorithm. One example of a true solution is the military airplane, Osprey. One can easily notice the principle of dynamism used in its design. I have no doubts that discovery of new fundamental physical effects will still happen. The new fundamental physical effects will bring a large number of new inventions. Innovation level is an important guiding concept in trees. This concept indicates to the inventors how to increase the creative level of their inventions. The inventions will start at level 2, where a contradiction is removed, but the technology remains within the same field. At level 3, the contradiction is also removed, and the difference with level 2 is that some elements of technologies from other fields are used. At level 4, a new fundamental physical effect is being discovered, and the technology change is very radical. The famous saying of Isaac Newton was that his achievements were great only because he was standing on the shoulders of the giants from the past. The TRIS method gives to the inventors the accumulated knowledge of problem solving from the thousands of years of the Western civilization. Julius Caesar, when he said divide et impera, which means divide and dominate, can be regarded as a creator of the segmentation principle, which is the first principle from the TRIS list of 40 principles. Examples of, of the correspondence between the Latin proverbial sayings and the principles of trees can be continued at the segmentation, of course, divide et impera, reciprocity, quid pro quo, merging, or harmony, concordia salus, skipping being quick, veni vidi vici. To illustrate the TRIS method and its core value of 40 principles, I selected some of them. And these are the principle of segmentation, principle of asymmetry, the principle of nesting dolls, the principle of moving to another dimension, the principle of uninterrupted useful effect, the blessing in disguise principle or turning harm to good, use of strong acidifiers of, and the use of composite materials. This is a simple method and can be learned in a single session. This table illustrates the usefulness of trees for new inventions. Compared to synaptics, brainstorming, capnor trego and morphological analysis, the TRIS method is leading. Working with the workbook changes how inventors are viewing their tasks. They look at the tasks from the point of view of an ideal solution, contradiction, level of invention, and the evolution of inventions and systems. They think in the terms of the 40 principles of innovation and they may use additional specific techniques. In particular, the rare physical effects which will lead to inventions of the level 4, the highest. Before you'll start working with the core invention algorithm, there are some preliminary steps to be taken. 
and these involve um, a formal long range plan, the planned magnitude of change, evaluation of present technology stage, and evaluation of present parameters. The core of the invention algorithm is a procedure based on five steps. The first step is identification of the problem to be solved. The second is analysis of the environment of solutions, which is essentially pattern literature in the analytical phase, and the problem solving phase, which is based on the core value that is detailed 40 principles. And the last stage is the synthetic phase where everything is put together. Therese strongly emphasizes the need to investigate various physical effects which could be potentially used in your invention. A comprehensive list of such effects is included in the workbook. Therese groups physical effects according to their intended purpose. For example, checking properties of surfaces, detection of materials, control of movement, etc. Rare physical effects are not so rare when it comes to inventions. A field-specific example is the use of magnetic effects in security marks. The effects include magnetic remanence, Curie point, and a combination of magnetic particles with optically valuable pigments. Tris is gaining a reputation as the most powerful method for solving inventive problems. The initial areas of application of trees were aerospace, defense, manufacturing. The method is suitable for solving technical problems and also business problems as an extension. The countries which use on a large scale the trees method are Russia, Japan, Korea, Germany, Netherlands, and the USA. Conclusions First, invention algorithm is a highly effective, simple, and powerful method for developing inventive solutions. Two, trees could triple the number of inventions in a company. Three, using a trees workbook is the most effective approach to learning the invention algorithm and to develop inventive solutions. Such a workbook is available at a low price through the Amazon online ordering in a paperback and ebook editions. A workbook for invention algorithm of the trace method is actually available from Amazon. The full title is Invention Algorithm Trace Workbook Creativity Method for Generating Breakthrough Inventions. To contact the author of the Invention Algorithm Workbook, you can go to my webpage or email me, and I do offer services, seminars, and trainings related to the Invention Algorithm Workbook, facilitation of invent inventive sessions, and technology reviews related to new material separation and material conversion processes. Thank you. Thank you.